Hi folks. I was able to accomplish something today that's been I've been trying to do now for a while. Uh, namely to uh, mount a sprocket on uh, on this shaft. Now this is a <clears throat> this is a bicycle sprocket. Uh, this accepts bicycle chain. And in case anybody's wondering, bicycle chain is number 410. And uh, that refers to the spacing and the width and so forth. Uh, bicycle chain is number 410 chain. And finding something that would work uh, wasn't really very easy to do. And I bought this stupid thing on eBay. It cost $7. Uh, and I was able to mount it on here and that's a good thing uh, it really was not easy to do that now if you want to get uh, what they call a jack shaft which is one of these uh, for number 40 or 41 chain that's not a hard thing to do uh, those things are common fairly common anyway uh, but for number 410 chain they're pretty much impossible to find so I bought this thing and originally I thought I'd take this and attach it in some fashion onto this fitting and this fitting came off of the the wheelchair uh, these two motors here came from a wheelchair and this fitting came off of it and it fits on the shaft here uh, very snug and it came out of the the center of the wheel one of the two wheels that drives the wheelchair the problem is that it's made from aluminum so it can't be welded uh, originally I thought I could maybe get somebody to weld that for me but uh, that really turned out to not be the case so I had to find out another find another way to to do this and originally uh, after I figured out that I couldn't weld it I thought well I'm gonna get this threaded rod and I'll file off the edges of that rod and, and fit it on and that would have worked except this um, shaft is slightly bigger than five-eighths of an inch and uh, what that means is that there's no standard hardware that will fit on there this is uh, 5 8 inch right here it, it won't fit now I know that the threads would have to come out uh, but there's no 5 8 inch that will fit on there uh, and the next step up when you're getting these things that are already made is 3 quarter inch and 3 quarter inch is too big doesn't fit snug and I didn't like it so I had to figure out a way to do it and what I wound up doing even though uh, even though money's tight is uh, I wound up buying this cutoff tool from Harbor Freight and I paid $20 for it and with that I was able to uh, remove the part of the shaft that wouldn't allow for this elongated hole to fit on there now I'm able to do it I, uh, I was very careful and luckily no mistakes were made so this now 
fits on there good and snug and I'm pretty sure that this is going to work now the way I want it to so that was good Harbor Freight and this cutoff tool here uh, $20 you always have to wait for the right price on any Harbor Freight tool uh, they're always changing prices it seems like every week it's a new price so that's about it uh, thanks for watching and wish me luck